today is kind of a pickups video uh, combined with a rant. I've had a lot of things going on in my life lately, and um, I kind of wanted to discuss it. Well, I've got a few minutes to go pick my game up and come back. I just did a pickups video showing my new um, Alien Isolation game, which I w I've been so excited about playing and having for the longest time, and that kind of I've been frustrated every single day there's been a reason why I can't play it or I just haven't had the time to get into it. It's not the kind of a game you want to put in for a few minutes and then get back to, you know, when it's convenient. It's something you, you know, you got to play for a couple nights in a row and be able to put at least a couple hours into it at a time. So I'm the type where, the same thing with L.A. Noire, I won't start it. I'd get it right when it came out, but if I don't have the time to play it and do it right, and really sink into the, the immersion that I know that game has, uh, I just would rather wait. If it means waiting a year, I don't care, I'll, I'll wait. So, um, some people would say, well, then why buy the game, you know, when it's brand new? Well, I like to support the gaming companies. This is the kind of game that I want Sega to, to make. I'd like to see more. I like the fact I wouldn't mind seeing another Aliens, Colonial Marines, maybe something a little bit better based on the second film. So I want to support them uh, with doing a franchise that I absolutely love and that many other people love as well. And so that's why I buy a lot of these games right off. Whether I play them or not, I want to support the gaming companies. And a lot of people would rather just pirate the games or wait till it's, you know, $8 or something. And that's fine. I mean, we all have criteria uh, with our game purchases. I have to do the same thing. Sometimes I just have to wait. I can't buy every new game that I want that comes out. I had to pass on the Shadow of Mortar, which looks fantastic. In fact, ironically, I'm going to get the new Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition right now. When I bought that, I waited a week before buying it. I didn't pre-order it. I thought it looked interesting, but I didn't think it would be my kind of game. Then after I started seeing the reviews and the comparisons to Grand Theft Auto 4 in particular, I said, man, I've got to get this game. Way there now. We've had some, um, a few tragedies that have happened in our family just in the last several weeks. I had something that happened. We had an unexpected death in the family earlier uh, that was really hard, um, uh, you know, it was hard to deal with on my wife's side of the family. Uh, someone that died way too young, um, I guess natural causes from what we can tell so far. But uh, it really kind of set us back a ways, and, um, and there were just a lot of things going on. My wife has a new job that she just started, um, so there's been a lot of changes, and um, she's doing her online schooling, so sometimes my gaming gets in the way, and this is these are some of the issues that I wanted to talk about, is that life has a way of, um, you know, anyone that has their own business or has, you know, a job that they have to go to, it's a big responsibility just to stay on top of your bills and to pay your bills and to do what's needed to maintain a lifestyle that you can afford and that you can live with. And that's one of the things that I like about, um, let me get through this traffic here. It's one of the things that I like about gaming is that it's always there. It's not going anywhere. So many people are, you know, uh, they live for gaming, and they, they're able to do it full-time, and to do YouTube full-time, and I take my hat off to you. If you can find a way to do it in this economy, and stay on top of your bills, and, you know, what it costs to survive, and then do that full-time, I take my hat off to you. I think it's a great idea. I think that um, many of us want, would love to have that kind of a privilege or a life. Uh, it has its downsides, and many of those same people don't have the disposable income uh, where you can go out and buy new games or buy Blu-rays or go to the movies or go out to eat and a lot of the things that many of us l like to do. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of a two-edged sword. I mean, for me, I have the money to buy most of the games that I want, you know, in movies and what have you, but the problem is I don't have the time. I mean, I've barely gamed in almost a month now. I would say approaching four weeks, I've done very little gaming. You know, I played my favorite snowboarding game. 
Um, I've played a couple X, original Xbox games, which I've really had fun with uh, the last month, but very little. I mean, a half an hour here, 45 minutes there. And I've played quite a bit, several hours, over the course of probably four evenings of Forza Horizon 2, which I made an exception. You know, when the first Forza Horizon came out, I was able to play it all the way through in a couple of weeks, and it was a lot of fun. I was really um, enjoying the privilege of doing that. Uh, this is not this is not a time uh, right now. We had another tragedy that happened in our family with someone, you know, very young, uh, kind of a self and self induced problem with just absolutely horrifying um, end result, and it's a nightmare for the whole family. So a lot of evenings have been consumed discussing this, talking with other family members about it, and it's kind of put a somber mood. Uh, <laughs> kind of like almost a blanket over my life right now, so I haven't had the ability to dive into something like, you know, alien uh, isolation and really relish in it the way I'd like to. I, I would honestly, honestly rather wait until I can afford to do it at a better time, or, or, or it's appropriate. Um, it's just, right now, the, the life has been very complicated, and uh, I'm not really sure... Um, you know, when I'm going to have a break. The work has been the heaviest that I've had it in quite a while, which is good. I mean, I have a lot of bills I'm getting behind on. We're getting a lot of things repaired and fixed on the house that we've had a waiting list of things to fix. You know, I finally paid my truck off, and I've got uh, my wife a new car. So, I mean, things are going in the right direction, but it's going to take time to get all of these things um, up to speed the way I like. So i got to take the work when I can. Right now, I've got enough work to keep me busy for almost two months, which is good. The downside is these particular jobs are very, very labor intensive, and uh, I'm going to be, you know, gone a lot, working a lot. Sometimes I can check my computer throughout the day, but even the last four weeks, I've barely had time to check my friends' YouTube videos, which saddens me because I love to watch their videos. I try to. I try to watch a little bit of each person. I'll go to Steve Benway and watch a couple of his videos, and then Dave at Lawn Boys Post 1975 or Kit 171. I'll try to at least catch up as much as I can, but it's sad when I get behind by weeks, and I just, I feel bad. I'm missing out on, you know, tag video responses and a lot of things in the community I'd like to be a part of. So I wanted to take the time and do this little rant based on that, based on the fact that I I honestly do have limited time, but I just want to let people know that it's not out of a lack of interest, just that life can get in the way sometimes. Sometimes the, the burdens of life and the heaviness of life can kind of... Um, uh, take a lot of the fun and the, the, the joy that you experience moment to moment out of your life, and it's like you're left with a lot of somber realities, you know, and you have to decide uh, what you're going to invest your time in. So right now, for me, getting into gaming is not hasn't been the greatest, although, uh, like right now, I'm on my, I'm making the time, I'm running errands, so I'm going to say, well, you know what, I'll film this while I'm running my errands and maximize my time and uh, pick up the games. I do like to get the games right away, especially on a day one deal. But at the same time, um, I, I'm not going to have probably a whole lot of time to play them. Why I'm excited about this particular one, Sleeping Dogs, is that we don't have a whole lot of open world games on the next gen consoles. I think they've got, you know, Dead, the new Dead Rising 3 looks pretty good as an open world game on the Xbox One, but for the PlayStation 4, pretty much all we have is that Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So, God, it's hot as a fucking here. I gotta turn this heater down. And so, um, we're at a point now where there's really not, uh, there isn't a lot of open world games just to have fun. And sometimes that's what I like. My mind is heavily preoccupied. It's hard for me to put in a hyper focus on a game, but I can always find time to play like GTA 5 or to play something like Sleeping Dogs. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back into Sleeping Dogs uh, again on a next-gen console. It's going to be fantastic. I love just the simple things, the fun things of like finding all the health shrines so I can level up uh, my health on my character. It's the little things, finding all of the jade statues 
uh, it's all over again so I can you know learn those martial arts moves and what have you that's what's exciting that's what I'm really looking forward to um, with this new game I'm really excited oh, the traffic is horrible today I'm really excited about having something that I can just mess around with that's mindless that won't require a tremendous amount of my time or emotions uh, or something like Alien Isolation. I'll, you know, I'll probably have a heart attack playing it, kind of like my old Manhunt days. I really enjoyed those kind of games, but I have to savor the time to play a game like that that's that immersive um, and that special and that unique. I would like to take the time and do it right. So uh, I'm actually looking forward to this. Now, I'm also picking up The Walking Dead Season 2. I still haven't played the Telltale Game Season 1 yet, but I'm anxious to. And, uh, and I have it set aside, and I was kind of hoping for Halloween. My wife's birthday is on Halloween, so we make a real big production out of it. It's a big thing for us. And we already have the house decorated, you know, well in advance. And we love watching our favorite, you know, John Carpenter horror films. And I watched Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, last year on Halloween. Uh, this year, I'll, you know, who knows. But I kind of would like to play The Walking Dead season one and then have season two waiting in the wings if i have time to play it i'll jump right into it if not it won't be going anywhere but i appreciate what telltale games has done with this um, with this series and i wanted to support them by buying the game day one uh picked it up for the xbox 360 in keeping with the, the original one but i am really excited uh about getting that and, and even more so this definitive edition of sleeping dogs is really exciting to me I can't wait. So I'm almost at my GameStop now. And I'm um, just getting through these lights here. My other GameStop, which I, is close to my house, has the world's worst parking. You, you can't even park to go in to get your pre-orders. It's that bad. And I won't park down the street and walk and all that. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'll go back to my old, um, <clears throat> to my old GameStop. And I got all my pre-orders here. So next I have Far Cry 4, and I have, uh, what else? Oh, GTA 5, the remastered edition. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll have coming out here real soon. Not a good place to park. They're going to be open soon, in just probably about seven or eight minutes. So I'm just getting a good place to park here. And I'll finish my little rant. <clears throat> So it's important to have um, it's important to make the time for gaming. I think that you, you have to have hobbies. You can't be focused so much on work and so much on on uh, the, the the challenges of life that you don't in, enjoy yourself and let your hair down along the way. You got to stop and smell the roses. And for me, gaming is a great way to do that. You know, there's many times where uh, um, <clears throat> I just don't have the time. Uh, this year has been really busy. It's good. I mean, it's great for my business. I'm happy to have the work, but the downside is I don't have time to play all the games. And even though I have an evening of three or four hours, uh, you know, my wife comes home. She wants to talk about her new job. Uh, she's working on her online schooling at the same time. So when she's doing that, I prefer to not game and keep keep it down. I mean, I could put headphones on and just think about myself, but. I, I'm trying to be there for uh, for my family right now. There's so many things going on and not enough time in the day. So to me, when I do get to gaming, gaming is exciting. It's important. I, I don't want to rush through it. It's something that there's a time and a place. Sometimes I just like to play a mindless racing game like Forza Horizon 2 or my Stoke Big Air, you know, Big Air Edition snowboarding game is one of my favorites. I find it very peaceful and soothing. And it's just at least I'm gaming, so that that's the, the, I have a, on my coffee table now just a couple of racing games, which I can put in, and it's just kind of like going through the motions, almost in a mindless state, which I enjoy. So um, I'm going to be going in here in just a few minutes and picking up my game, but <clears throat> I wanted to take the time um, and and get this out and let people know why I haven't been watching their YouTube videos to let people know why. I mean, I was going to do an impressions of this new Alien Isolation, and it just didn't materialize. And I don't want to force it. I don't want to, you know, okay, all right, I guess I better cram in one night and film this when I'm not in the mood. I don't think that would be honest. I wouldn't be fair to myself. I wouldn't be fair to my, you know, friends and fans that, that watch my channel. I try to keep do things authentically and do things when I have the time 
or I'm in the mood that I, that I honestly can do them. So um, I'll wait. Uh, I would like to do an impressions of the Sleeping Dog Definitive Edition. I think many people will just dismiss it. Oh, I've already played Sleeping Dogs. It doesn't offer anything new. What it does offer is it has multiple expansion packs for the DLC. Uh, the Zodiac Tournament is one of them. I can't remember. There's like three different ones. Something in North Point. That's some kind of a supernatural thing. Kind of like the Undead N Nightmare on the um, Red Dead Redemption. And then there's some other challenge mode or some other like story extensions. And then there's many other, you know, which I already had car packs and weapon packs and stuff, which are cool. You get all of that in this new version. But even more importantly, they tweaked it to where the lighting affects it looks even better than the original PC version. Better lighting, uh, better animations, um, the destructible environments. There's a lot more minutia and detail that they put into it. That's what I like about it. That's what sold me on it. And again, I would I think it's great to have more open world games that we can play on the PlayStation 4 and on the Xbox One. So I welcome that. And until uh, GTA 5 comes, this sleeping dog will fill the bill perfectly. It's exactly what I what I've been looking for and exactly what I need right now for something that's just mindless fun. I can go in and just drive around and explore and find those health shrines and those collectible jade statues and then do the missions as I have time. And that's something you can do a little bit at a time. You can put in for 20 minutes or an hour and a half and play it and have fun with it. So I'm looking forward to getting back into the Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, end this right now. I'm going to be picking up my game, and then I'll uh, do a little bit more talking on the way back. Thanks. So I've got my new Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. It has a really nice packaging. It looks nice. And I'm excited to get home and play this. Naturally, they didn't have my um, naturally they didn't have my <laughs> Walking Dead season two. It's in transit. The shipment probably will come in later today, so I'm not going to be able to make it back. I got too much to do today. But my wife will go by probably tomorrow after work and pick it up for me. Not that I've got time to play it right now anyway. So. Um, but to continue my little talk, um, yeah, I mean, just li life has been has been tricky, and uh, it, it, in, a, in a way, it kind of forces you to to see what's really important about life. Um, you know, when you are inundated with work, when you have a lot of unusual family things happening with family that um, kind of take you by surprise at times. You got to do whatever you have to do. ambulance coming by here. So, I don't want to get too close behind this ambulance. So, you know, life hands you lemons, you make lemonade, you do the best you can, you stand by your friends and family that are going through hard times, and you put them first, and there's always a time and a place for television and gaming and your hobbies, and I've had to do this for years with my car hobbies and what have you. Uh, gaming something that I look forward to doing, I try to do it every day, but lately I, I haven't had the luxury, I mean, I've never seen so much time where almost a week goes by and I virtually get no gaming in for five or six days. The weekends I always squeeze a little bit in. Once in a while, uh, you know, late at night, I'll maybe get a little bit in if I'm going to be up late or something. But it's getting harder and harder to find the time to get gaming in when I'm this busy. And then with the family, you know, issues and stuff on top of it, uh, there's been a lot more time allocated to discussing these problems and interacting with other family members and what have you. But so I look at it like life is is like the waves of an ocean. If a wave isn't uh, isn't hitting you right now, you know, don't worry because one's on the way. And that's pretty much my uh, philosophy with life. Um, that you just you you know, and you basically build yourself a surfboard to ride out the waves and ride out the difficult ups and downs of life. And um, and that way, when I do get a chance to do gaming it's that much more sweet. It, it, it's that much more meaningful for me personally. 
and I don't, you know, whine about it and say, oh, I haven't gamed in weeks, and, you know, I complain to a couple of my friends about it, but um, for the most part, it's just part of life, and you just have to deal with it. As you get older, you have a little bit more patience, and you're able to wait for things. So I'll wait, and I'll, when the time comes, I'll enjoy Alien Isolation the same way I've done many other games that I've put off in the past, and that's just the way it is. So, um, I just wanted to get this out there to some of my friends. I haven't been able to watch your videos. I feel really bad about that. Uh, and believe me, I mean, there's, I haven't had a lot of time for myself uh, either in the, you know, in the process. I try to put out at least one video a week uh, for my friends. I, last year, I would let, you know, three, four weeks go by with no videos, and I, I don't want to do that again. So, it only takes a few minutes to film while I'm driving or running errands. So, I thought I'd try to get that squeezed in today. Um, so hang in there. I know and I've got a couple other friends right now that are going through some really challenging times filled with anxiety and, and uncertainties and life is what you make of it. It's where you decide to keep your focus and um, you, you've just you have to prepare you know f for the ups and downs of life. That's the best advice that I can give you after being on the planet you know as long as I have. Um, I take life seriously. I take my responsibilities seriously so that way when I do take a vacation or I do get a chance to go out to eat once in a while or uh, or just to kind of get away from the grind of work even you know via some great gaming it becomes a wonderful vacation of the mind and something that's very special that I look forward to so anyway that's my little uh, spiel on um, uh, on life and life getting in the way uh, feel free to tell me in the comments what you feel, how you feel about it. I mean, are there times where you just don't get to game for days or weeks on end? Uh, is this something that upsets you? Do you just roll with it? Uh, does it help you to appreciate the gaming when you do get a chance to get back to gaming again? Or does it just frustrate you to, you know, to, 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 to I guess to no end? Those are the questions that I would uh, posit today for you uh, to leave in the comments. Uh, thanks for, for the couple friends of mine that know what I've been going through. I appreciate the support and the friendship and kindness. It means a lot to me. Thank you all, by the way. I reached 400 subscribers. Uh, I just saw it this morning on my deal. Um, I, I want to thank each and every one of them. I, I don't know who many of these people are, but for whatever reason, they found it interesting and subbed to my channel. That means a lot to me. Whether my channel stays small or, or, or grows even larger than it is now, I appreciate the time that you take to uh, invest in watching my videos. It means a lot to me, and hopefully there's something that I say that resonates with you as a gamer and as a friend as we share this wonderful hobby together. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your games. Enjoy life. And just always try to have a positive outlook on life and make the best of every situation. That's the best advice that I can give. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.